What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast, and in today's video we've got some very unique battles submitted to the channel by multiple time Battle of Spice winner MEJP2, who does also have a YouTube channel by the way, so definitely go check them out, but in these battles they're running XL Altaria, Heatran and Speed Form Deoxys in the Open Ultra League. It is very unlikely that you've ever seen this form of Deoxys in the Go Battle League, and if you have, it was most likely MEJP2's winning entry of the Ultra League Battle of Spice. Now what you may not know is it actually doesn't have a very high attack stat so it won't act as a crazy glass cannon but what makes this Pokemon so hard to run is the fact that its fast move options are Zen Headbutt and Charge Beam so that does severely hold it back but with that being said let's just get into the question of the day. Excluding Defense Form Deoxys, which Deoxys form would you like to see get a move update next season? Let me know in the comment section down below, let me know which move you'd like to see and with that being said let's get into the battles now. Alright, so going into the first battle lead, Altaria into Obstagoon. So this is a pretty good matchup. You can see Altaria, even at level 50, only reaches the mid 2200s. But this is definitely a good matchup up against the Obstagoon. They actually go for Obstruct. We're probably going to go straight for the Moonblast here. We might grab a shield, we might not, but we might as well guarantee big damage if they no shield it, which they do. They can go for another charge move. They might Night Slash this time around. They do, but it's still not going to do too much damage. And we can go for the full Dragon Breath farm down, taking out the Obstagoon. And the opponent comes in with a Empoleon. So we're going for a Moonblast once again. Moonblast does have that potential to drop the opponent's attack. We swap into the speed form Deoxys. We're going to go for the Thunderbolt right away. And Thunderbolt does quite a lot of damage to the Crobat. And we should actually be able to live this. This won't be a Shadow Ball. Poison Fang debuffs our defense. But you can see we do actually tank a charge move on the Deoxys. And make it to a second Thunderbolt. This will be guaranteeing a shield from the opponent. We get that shield and the opponent is able to actually farm us down here so we come in with our heatran this is not a great matchup for us but the empoleon is already fairly low i think at this point we might just double shield and try to commit to the full fire spin farm down let's see we do shield the second time around can we get that farm down yes we are able to fire spin farm down empoleon and we're able to take that game so Deoxys actually put in quite a lot of work in that battle, but into the next game we see a Sylveon, and we're going to safe swap into Deoxys, go for a Psycho Boost here just before the opponent makes it to a charge move, and Psycho Boost doesn't even do 50% of that Swamp itself, so you can see it really just doesn't have that high of attack stat. Of course we do live the Hydro Cannon fairly comfortably, but we make it to a second Psycho Boost, and it actually grabs a shield there. Personally, if I was the opponent, I definitely wouldn't shield because we've already debuffed our attack, so the second one will do less damage, but it doesn't matter we can come in with the altaria and just completely wall the energy from the swamper we might even commit to a full dragon breath farm down they can get to maybe four hydro cannons but it won't take us out here so we do let the second one go through the opponent will make it to another charge move and they will throw once again but once again, we can very easily tank that. And the opponent swaps back into the Sylveon. So we respond with one of the hardest answers to Fairy-type Pokemon in general. And that is Heatran. We do double resist the charm damage. You can see it's doing absolutely nothing. We're running Flamethrower instead of the Magma Storm. I wonder if it's just because this Heatran was caught before Magma Storm came out. So no point in using an Elite TM on an Ultra League Heatran. But here we go for the Flamethrower, taking out the Sylveon. And the opponent will be able to over farm quite a lot in this matchup we're gonna shield hopefully we can fire spin farm them down and we do barely get the farm down the opponent comes in with Cresselia so we're gonna go for a flamethrower we do still have one shield remaining so we swap into the Altaria going for the sky attack this won't do, do too, this won't do too much damage to the Cresselia but we should be able to shield once probably go for the Moonblast next time around since it will deal a little bit more damage the opponent does bait with the Grass Knot not ideal for us but it doesn't really matter Grass Knot probably does take us out from this range but Moonblast definitely takes out the Cresselia and we're able to take that game so into the next game, we see another really bad lead for us, leading into a Charm Grand Ball. We swap into Deoxys, and the opponent responds with a tight Ranatar. That is an odd choice, but unfortunately, it's going to do very well up against Deoxys here. We go for Thunderbolt. We will be able to make it to a Psycho Boost just before they farm us down. And this might grab a shield, actually, if the opponent doesn't know the counts, which they don't. But also, this is not great for the Altaria. 
We're actually going to no shield here. I kind of agree. Just fully sacrifice the Altaria. And the opponent is able to land the Stone Edge. Farm us down. Come out with another charge we've loaded. This is probably just a Brutal Swing. It is the Brutal Swing. But we do get the Fire Spin farm down. And they come back in with the Gramble. So what on earth does the opponent have in the back? We are not going to find out straight away. As we go for the Flamethrower. Grabbing a shield from the opponent. We have to shield this up. They might go for a Crunch Bait. But they actually know they go for the Close Combat. They swap. And it is a Crunch Robat in the back, so we do over farm with throw before they make it to a shadow ball. And this Stone Edge will be taking out the Crowbat, and we will be able to outpace the opponent to a charge move. The opponent recognizing that, and they concede the match. So, into the next game, we see a Cobalion in the lead. This is a pretty tricky Pokemon to deal with in general. So we're just going to stay in with the Altaria. We should very comfortably live a Stone Edge though. So we're going to let it go through and the opponent has to go for another Stone Edge to take us out. We're only getting to one charge move if they do commit to the next Stone Edge. So we go for the harder hitting Moon Blast and the opponent is going to farm to another potential Stone Edge. At this point, we're just going to let it go down. Stone Edge takes out the Altaria, but now we can come in with our... Okay, I thought we we're going to come in with Deoxys, but no, we swap. We catch the resisted Sacred Sword onto Deoxys. Really nice play there. And the opponent comes in with Gear now this is not great for us whatsoever i think we're just probably going to lose this game here so they go for a dragon claw doesn't do that much damage we over farm as much as possible before going for a psycho boost but it doesn't really matter psycho boost does not do much damage there and the opponent still has two shields remaining a very healthy giratina and we don't even know what their third Pokemon is. We are going to go for a Stone Edge. And this will do some nice damage. Hopefully it puts them into range where we can fire spin farm them down. But actually it's going to be a very long farm down. So we will start using our shields. They go for the Shadow Sneak. And we are going to have to double shield if we want to get rid of this Giratina. But unless they've got something that is incredibly weak to fire in the back. Then we're just losing this game. And yeah the opponent swaps back into Cobalion. Simultaneous KO. But we do lose that game there. But into the next game we see Nidder Queen in the lead. So going to stay in this matchup initially. Opponent doesn't build up to the Stone Edge. So we can safely let the first Poison Fang go through. Doesn't do too much damage there. Obviously we might need to shield the next move. As it's going to do a little bit more damage. Now that we are debuffed. But let's see how we want to play this out. We did grab a shield there. Up against the opponent. And the opponent is going to go for another Poison Fang. Can we make it to the Sky Attack? Yes we barely do. Altaria putting in so much work. And grabbing both shields from the opponent now. We're actually going to come in with the Heat Tran. Of course Earth Power is double super effective. But we are resisting these poison jabs they go for the earth power they swap into samurai and we respond with our def uh, with our speed form deoxys sorry we're going to use the shield here as the opponent goes for the Hydro Cannon. We can over farm, not by an awful lot though, as Hydro Cannon is very spammy. We go for the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt takes out the Samurott, and the opponent comes in with a Lolan Muck. They are running Snarl, and we're going to go for another Thunderbolt here, reaching it just as the opponent makes a Dark Pulse, but they're going to choose to over farm in this matchup. They farm to nearly 100 energy. They go for the first move. Dark Pulse takes out the... the I keep saying defense form Deoxys, sorry, it is a speed form Deoxys. We come in with the Heatran, let the first Dark Pulse go through. The opponent swaps back into Nido Queen. We farm to 100 energy, and this will be enough damage to obviously take out the Nido Queen. And we are just one fire spin away from the next charge move. Flamethrower will be enough damage to take out the Alolan Muck, and we're able to take that game. So going into the next battle, we see Altaria into Galissapod. So this is another very good matchup for the Altaria. The opponent is choosing to stay in initially. They swap into Cresselia and we have such a hard wall in the form of Heatran. If they're running Moonblast and Grass Knot, we do double resist everything they can possibly throw. We're going for a Flamethrower and this will get the Cresselia into roughly the yellow health range. And it does barely get them into that yellow health there. We are going to let the next move go through. They are a lot spammier than us, so they will make it to another Moonblast. Probably before we can take them out. So we're actually going to choose to over farm. I do agree with this. The next Moonblast, not going to do much damage still we go for the flamethrower and we probably should undercharge this we full send it fully bubbling it and we do get one extra fire spin in before we find them down which is nice and they come in with a guzzlord now this is a bit tricky for us we go for the stone age stone age will actually grab a shield from the opponent which is really nice we come back in with altaria and we are going straight for the moon blast if they no shield this moon blast one shots the guzzlord and this is going to be game over for the opponent there is not a lot they can do they're going to go for a charge move they do have quite a lot of energy but they go for liquidation they actually drop our defense so we're going to start shielding now 
as they go for liquidation number two. But at this point, the opponent recognizing there's not a lot they can do and we're able to take that game. And I don't think Deoxys did literally anything in that battle, but it is still a fairly spicy team even without the, with the, without the Deoxys there. Gosh, I know how to talk, but into the next game, we see a Blastoise in the lead. They are probably running Ice Beam, so we do, of course, have to be very careful about that, and we can't afford to swap out either. We are going to No Shield. It is the Ice Beam. It nearly takes us out, and they are able to Water Gun Farm us down. We come in with our Deoxys, and we are going to let the first move go through. Hydro Cannon going to do quite a lot of damage, but obviously we'll do more damage up against the Heatran. We do farm to the back-to-back -back Psycho Boost, so we're going to go for the first one, and this will be enough to take out the Blastoise. We're going to instantly swap into Heatran. Heatran and the opponent has a Charizard in the back and we are going to let the first move go through it is just a Dragon Claw bait which is really good for us we're now going to go for a Stone Edge and Stone Edge would easily one shot Charizard so the opponent does respect the damage and use their shield we are now going to respect the damage from a Blast Burn, and it is a Blast Burn, which is a really good call there. We can now go for another Stone Edge. This should be grabbing the final shield from the opponent, and it does exactly that. Now, we are going to shield this up. They do full send the Blast Burn a second time around. We swap. We do the very nice combo play there as we go for a Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost does take out the Charizard. They get the Shadow Claw farm down, but we will be able to make it to a Flamethrower in time. And this, is it enough damage to take them out? Yes, it is, and we're able to take out the Trevenant, and we take that game. Into the next game, we see Wolverine in the lead, so this is an awful lead matchup. We are going to save swap into Heatran this time around. Quite interesting, and the opponent comes in with a Hackstra, so not ideal. This should be a Breaking Swipe, so we will live this, and we will be able to get off a Stone Edge as well. We might see a Shield, we might not. Let's see. We go for the Stone Edge, and the opponent does let that go through, which is quite nice for us, because now we can come in with the Altaria. We're going to have to tank one Breaking Swipe, but it's not going to do too much damage. Altaria is very bulky, and they do just barely get it off before we drag breath farm them down and that does about 30 percent of our health so we are going to swap immediately into our speed form deoxys and the opponent is going to stay in initially before swapping into a charizard we're going straight for the thunderbolt here this would deal a ton of damage or grab a shield from the opponent and it does grab that shield we are now going to shield and the opponent goes for a bait with the Dragon Claw, which is unfortunate. And we are going to over farm a little bit too much as well as the opponent goes for another Dragon Claw here. We're going for a Psycho Boost bait here. Hopefully, if we debuff our attack, it will still be enough damage to take them out with a Thunderbolt. But we actually don't throw there. Either that or we lost CMP. Either way, it doesn't work out for us. We come in with the Altaria. I think the Wolverine has a charge move anyway, so it doesn't matter what we do. The opponent goes for the Dragon Claw. They swap back into Wolverine. We couldn't take them out with any one charge move. And an Icicle Spear easily takes out the Altaria. And we do, unfortunately, lose that game. But into the next game, we see Greninja, so a very good lead matchup for us. Although they can just spam these Night Sashes. And if they get a boost, then that might actually flip this just because they are so incredibly spammy. We're not dealing that much damage with our fast move here. The opponent makes it to Night Sash number two before we've even made it to the potential Moon Blast. But we're going to settle for a Sky Attack instead. Sky Attack coming through. The opponent lets it go through, and we do get that Dragon Breath farm down. So that is quite nice. They come in with a Shadow Mamo Swine, so insane spice from the opponent here. We're going to go for the Sky Attack should be grabbing a shield no the opponent lets that go through we come in with the heatran is this enough for a high horsepower we're going to shield anyways it is enough and what do they have in the back they've got a charizard and we should be looking fairly good but they do have a shield advantage in this matchup so we go for the stone edge the opponent uses none of their shields i'm not sure what just happened there but we're able to take that game i suppose the win condition from the opponent probably is if we go for a bait with magma magma storm or something like that but that's unfortunately not how it worked out for the opponent. But into the next game, we see Shadow Dragonite in the lead. We save swap into our Heatran to catch the Dragon Claw, and the opponent responds with a Tapu Fini. Now, I think I have seen a few videos. It might have been Tho Tactical that put out a Shadow Dragonite, uh, Tapu Fini, and a second Fairy type in the back. So if it is another Fairy type, then our Altaria isn't looking too great for us, and the opponent did 
build up to another Dragon Claw before swapping out on their Dragonite, which is a very good play. We're now going to go for a Psycho Boost. Psycho Boost grabs a shield from the opponent. It's actually a CMP Taizo. We're just going to put it all on our Altaria at this point. Surf, they actually undercharge that, which is a nice play, but we come in with the Altaria and then we throw on the CMP tie. Not ideal for us. Surf, going to grab a shield there, even though it is resisted. We can't afford to get too low. We go for the Sky Attack. We have to fully charge that, otherwise they're going to swap out anyways. And it's actually Galissapod in the back, so we do have quite a lot of play there, but if we didn't throw on the CMP tie, I think we'd be in a much better position. Now at this point, I think we just have to let this move go through. Dragonite does have a charge move loaded. They might play it combo, but we swap there. We try to make the catch, but the opponent well disciplined. They hold on to the energy. They go for the Dragon Claw, taking up the Altaria. And we do unfortunately lose that game. So that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you leave a like, leave a comment letting me know. And as well, don't forget to respond to the question of the day if you haven't done so already. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching today's video and I hope you have a great rest of your day.